So I'm trying to find a house and I've called like 50 people. Oh, so what? Call 50,000 people. Get a house, man. Get it done. You know, that's not hard, man. It's not hard to call people. It's not hard to get rejected. It's hard to grow old and be broke. So let's make a commitment, all you guys today. Let's make a commitment to ourselves that we are going to find a solution to every problem. And one of the main things that, that, that people say, and I say, they say, man, I can't find a house. I said, well, that's great. You've identified the problem. Because see, a lot of times in business, you don't know what the problem is. But if you can't find a house, is that the only problem you got? If that's the only problem you got, let's go get a solution. Let's write down 25 solutions in 25 minutes, and let's pick the three or four that are most probable to succeed. What you gonna do with your money if you sell the property? They're like, I don't know, man, I'm worried about paying taxes. We say, hey, listen, man, I may have a solution for you. What about, you know, if you get 70% of your money or 80% of your money? Now watch this, the lender says, hey, Nate, I need you to put 25% down. Now I go back to that guy and say, hey, what if you keep 25% of your money in the deal? Uh, we can talk to my accountant about it. There's a way that you can do it. You're only taking out 75% of your money. The other 25% you're rolling over into equity. Now you got him to put the down payment down on the property. All you did was got the financing, gave him his 75% out, or you could even come in on the loan and do a refinance get him out jv with him he stays in the deal with his 25 percent say hey your 25 percent that you put down you're going to get 25 percent of the deal then you get 75 percent of the deal man with no money out of pocket so man it's strategies to this stuff man you just got to think outside the box we just did that on a hotel we took over a, a home two suites it was only a few years old and we were able to get that done so we i mean look man if you if you think outside the box, man, you're gonna have, you'll be able to get some great deals done, man. Should I put my homes on my personal name or just start up an LLC? I only make 40K a year in New Jersey, which would be easier for me to get a loan? Well, with the, with the guys that we got, you'll be able to do it. We got a, a link we're releasing next week. Now, nah, maybe this week even, right? So part of the stuff that you, the, the problems you guys are going through, all the troubles and trials and tribulations, man, I've already been through. So what we're doing is we're breaking down barriers. So I'm going out here and I'm talking to these people um, because a lot of them want to get into the group and they want to lend money because we got a big group. But I'm going through and making sure that they're going to take care of the people in the group. And so they will do what's called asset-based lending. They'll lend to your LLC. They're common sense lenders. You don't have to go through all the rigor mortis and um, getting your head scalped and everything else that you gotta go through when you're dealing with a traditional bank. So if you're gonna go through these guys who I recommend, um, then I would say you will be okay to put it in an LLC. You wanna protect yourself and you want to put it in an LLC. But the problem is, you go do a traditional bank, they wanna go sell that piece of paper off to Fannie or Freddie. Fannie or Freddie doesn't allow you to do that and put it into an LLC. So go with our lender and you'll be fine on that. Common repairs you should expect to run into when you are first starting. Man, that's different. That's every house is different, you know? What you wanna look for though is your 1950 and after built houses. You don't wanna buy them plaster houses, man. So, you know, I just can't get over telling you guys how to become wealthy, man. You don't become wealthy by selling properties. You become wealthy by hanging on to properties. Don't believe me? Go ask your great grandpa. He could have bought a house in 1962 for $13,000. He could have rented out. The tenant would have paid it off. And right now, he'd probably have that house, that, that same house he bought for 13 grand back then. If he bought it in the right neighborhood, it's worth $300,000. So that's why you want to buy and hang on to real estate. Think about the guy that, that built it for 16 grand, the builder, or 13 grand. He made probably $1,500 off of building the whole house, man. Think about that, man, right? He made $1,500 off of it, but you just bought it, hung on to it, a tenant paid it off, the pen, a tenant rented it. You know, that's where the wealth is created at, man. Everybody I know that's wealthy, even Dave Ramsey, he lies about it, man. He's a lie. He lies about real estate. He doesn't, man, he leverages real estate, man. Dave Ramsey does. But he tells you guys, don't do it. Don't go get a loan. 
He does that because that's niche. All right, man. Well, uh, any questions, guys? About the hotels, man. We put a, a thing out about the hotels, man. Hotels are hotels are really fire, man. Does your attorney handle all of your contracts, purchase agreements, contracts, etc.? No. Depends. I mean, if it's a big deal, yeah. If it's not a big deal, no. Like if it's a single family home or something. But yeah, if it's a hotel, yeah, man, you can expect to spend twenty five thousand dollars in legal just putting that contract together, man. Hotels are expensive to put together. A lot of due diligence. Because look, you're not just buying the property, you're buying the business, you're buying all the goods, you're buying the sheets, the bedding. You know, man, you're buying a lot. The case goods, there's a lot of stuff there that you're buying. And you gotta put, and then typically what's gonna happen, the bank's gonna put UCC liens on them. They're gonna put UCC liens on all that stuff too. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, Nate Barger on YouTube, and Hit the bell and you'll be notified on any new videos that come out.